hear some music. Oh, everybody what are you doing? Today we are going to be taking a look at all the bosses in this reminiscence battle. This side here with the Ranfer on it. We have got eight bosses in here to take on. So let's jump in and have a look at all of those. We're going to try and fight this first boss here. I believe there is more and more and more bosses that come in a row once we've beaten this one so let's have a look if we have got if we don't have <laughs> warlock jita in this pool to borrow so does that mean we are going to just have to try and build the stack magical team without her see if it works or not who else will we have on it? We'll have Carol, and then we'll have Warlock Jeter. So I think we're going to put in, we could put in Bumpy. Oh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully the first boss isn't going to be too difficult. I think with this mode you can use the fight as many times as you want a day. If you lose, it's not that much of a problem. You're not going to be losing out on anything. This isn't looking too bad. Seems like maybe. Bosses will get a little bit stronger as we go along. Let's come back once we have beaten this first boss. So there we have it. This team was strong enough without Warlock Jeter to take out the first boss here. Let's see what rewards we get then. And... Who we will be fighting next. And obviously Carol there doing most of the damage. Bampy doing a good job there. <laughs> so being in for uh, Warlock Jeter in that team. So we got our refinement equipment there. We cleared the stage. Now we move on to boss number two. There is a team for this. Not Hamari there. We do want the Warlock Jeter. We don't have Warlock Jeter. So we're going to have to try a different team on here. Something along the lines of this fire team. So I'll be back once we are ready to fight. Okay, so we're going to jump in like this. We will see if this team can't be fake. So we will be back. We're going to do a quick <laughs> run through all of these bosses. So we will be back at the end of the fight. So here we are. 24 seconds left and this fire team did manage to beat the second snake boss so there we go that is boss number two defeated so let's have a look where who are we fighting next boss number three there's some more of them refining materials feared so we're fighting this boss again here the same one i think hopefully this same team be able to beat him so let's jump in and we will see how this team does if you do have the dark team the full dark magic team we want you to that team also should be okay to take on this boss maybe it would have been a little bit better than this one because at the moment this fire team does not look like it is doing much so we will be back with a result so the fire physical team didn't manage to beat it neither did the dark magical team without warlock vita so we would try this variation of a water physical team we had a reread to borrow some mariri and as you can see here just managed to beat it there with this water physical team obviously if you have got winter uni you would use winter uni instead of the uh, summer ameth but nevertheless there we go that is well hey Boss number three beaten. So let's move on then to boss number four. Get our rewards. Who have we got for boss number four? Cleared. There we go. So we have the Phantom Baron number four. So let's jump in with a team. So we're going to try the Dark Magical Team again. Obviously, if you had Warlock Jeter, then should use him instead of the summer homare here so let's see how this team does we will be back 
again with a result. Will it be this team or will it be a different team that beats the Phantom the Baron? So our Dark Magical team didn't manage to beat this fourth boss here, the Phantom Baron, so we are trying it here with this fire physical team, which is doing a much better job by the looks of it. I think we will get this boss down with this fire physical team here. What have we got here? 10 seconds left. Yes, easily we can do that. So, there we go. Boss number four beaten. A little bit of a team swap <laughs> taken to um, do the manage to beat it. So, there we go. Let's move on then. There's our rewards. What are we going to get then? for our boss number five. So here we go, boss number five. Aha, we have got Kariza. So we're starting to get some of the characters that are, well, this is related to Neo, at least in the story. Some of the characters that we've not quite had introduced that much to fight. So for this battle, we are going to try this team here. So what we need is... No, it doesn't that mean this is a multiple target boss? <laughs> is that why we're using this team? So anyway, let's jump in with this team here. Yes, a multiple target boss. And we will come back then with a result as this team managed to beat Eriza. So that face says that we had doing white workout. We did make a few slight changes to the team here. We've got Atsai Siori and we have got the Cinderella Maho on here. And that was enough to be able to beat our fourth boss here. No, our fifth boss. Our fifth boss here has been beaten. So let's move on then to the next boss. Boss there cleared Kariza to this tyrant shark okay so up to boss number six who do we want for boss number six and the team we've got here and we should have got rid of it to need here was this dark physical team again again we did have the warlock jita in here instead of the summer homare so we'll give it a try with this boss we will be back with a result so we are back we have got 20 seconds left and it looks like this dark magical bomb, even without the Warlock Jeans in it, managed to beat this tyrant shark here. Samekichi, Sami, Samekichi, Tomo Sami Desu. And there we go. So there we go. That one, not too much of a problem there for the dark magical team. Wish that was top doing that. Let's move on to then boss number seven which is also a variation of the dark magical team here we got ranfa so finally we are fighting out boss seven which is ranfa so we're going to go in with the same team because it is a very similar team here that we have again this time we have got a donor subbing in for the warlock Jita. And it looks like we have got, oh, she's actually got two targets here, Ranfa and Head of Dragon. So, again, we will be back with a result for this Ranfa fight. Okay, so we're back, and it looks like this Dark Magical Variation can still beat Ranfa. I do believe Wall Jita will be better with air field damage, where Ekidona is only single target, but it wasn't. To, it wasn't a problem. We managed to beat Ranfa there again with that dark physical team. So let's move on then to boss number eight. Now I do believe boss eight is the final one on this tree. Sorry there, Ranfa. We now have got to take on the Casino King. So for the Casino King, actually the team that is recommended is a water physical team which I cannot build so we will be back when we have got a team okay so everybody seems to be using variations of water physical take out this boss a here casino king so let's see if my variation of a water physical team that I can build borrowing the summary stands any chance okay so like I said again we will be back with 
a result of the battle. So we are back and we tried the other sub for the winter uni in the summer yori and with a few seconds left to go can we actually beat the boss oh no ah really 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 close i think this is the closest i am going to get if you have got winter uni put winter uni in and this team should be able to beat it I will keep banging my head against this Casino King, but there we go. That uh, is the bosses <laughs> for the first mode here in the Battlefield of Memories. Let me know how you did it with them. Thank you very much for watching. I am Takoriyashi, and I will see you all again for another video. Bye-bye-bye-bye. Hey!